Hi guys, this is here with another video on fun math. Today we are going to see what are fundamental formulas on integral integration or on indefinite integration. Fundamental formulas on indefinite integration. First, we know that if d by dx of f of x is equal to f dash of x, then it means that integral of f dash of x dx is equal to f of x plus c. So first, if we take d by dx of x power n plus 1 by n plus 1, then it equals to x power n, right? Because 1 by n plus 1 is a constant, so it comes outside, you will get 1 by n plus 1 into d by dx of x power n plus 1, which is n plus 1 into x power n. So you will get x power n. Okay, why we have taken this? Instead, why, we, why can't we take d by dx of x power n and it will be x power n minus 1 into x power n minus 1 because if we take integral we need the basic formula of integral right we need the formula of integral of x power n but instead if we got the formula for integral of n minus 1 into x power n it will be confusing right so let's take this and you will get integral of x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus an arbitrary constant c. x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. And dy dx of ln x, d by dx of ln x or natural logarithm of x is equal to 1 by x, right? We know that derivative of logarithm log x is 1 by x. So you will get integral of 1 by x dx is equal to ln x plus c and for e power x the derivative of e power x is e power x so the integral of e power x is also e power x it is very easy to remember the integral of e power x dx is equal to e power x plus c and we know that d by dx of a power x is nothing but a power x into log a base e so if we divide by log a base e on both sides, you will get d by dx of a power x by log a base e is equal to a power x into log a base e by log a base e. So you will get a power x. It means that derivative of a power x dx is equal to a power x by ln a. Log a base e is nothing but the natural logarithm of a plus an arbitrary constant c. And d by dx of negative cosine x is equal to sine x, right? Okay, d by dx of cosine x is negative sine x. If you multiply both sides by minus 1, so we'll get d by dx of minus cos x is equal to sine x. So the integral of sine x dx is equal to minus cos x plus c. And the fifth one is d by dx of Okay, now the sixth one is d by dx of sine x is nothing but cosine x. So it means that integral of cosine x dx is equal to sine x plus c. And we know that d by dx of tan x is equal to secant square x. Okay, you may think what if we square root on both sides, you will get square root of tan x is equal to secant x. So integral of secant x is equal to square root of tan x plus c. But you can't square root on both sides because you will get square root of d by dx of tan x and you will not get d by dx into square root of tan x. We can't get square root inside of the derivative. So let's take the same d by dx of tan x is equal to secant square x. Then it implies integral of secant square x dx is equal to tan x plus c. You may think secant square x is useless but in some cases it may be useful too. Similarly integral of Cosecant square x is dx is equal to minus cot x plus c. And d by dx of secant x is nothing but secant x tan x or tan x secant x. So you will get integral of tan x secant x dx is equal to secant x plus c. Means in some integrals if you get tan x plus secant x you can simply replace it by secant x plus c. And the derivative of minus cosecant x is equal to cosecant x cot x. Then it implies integral of cosecant cot x dx is equal to minus cosecant x plus c. Now, we know that d by dx of log sin x is equal to cot x. d by dx of log sin x is nothing but the log log x. Derivative of log x is 1 by x, right? 
for the derivative of log sin x is 1 by sin x into the derivative of sin x which is cosine x. So it is 1 by sin x into cosine x or it is cosine x by sin x which is nothing but cot x. So the integral of cot x dx is nothing but log sin x. Similarly the integral of tan x is nothing but log minus log cos x because the derivative of cos gets negative so you should apply minus and the derivative of ln secant x plus tan x the derivative of ln secant x plus tan x is equal to secant x means if it derivative this you will get ln of secant x plus tan x or it is secant x 1 by secant x plus tan x into the derivative of this the derivative of secant x is secant x tan x plus tan x is secant x secant square x. If you take secant x common, you will get secant x into secant x plus tan x. And here you have 1 by secant x plus tan x, right? Both of them cancel out, so you will get secant x remaining. So integral of secant x dx is nothing but ln of secant x plus tan x plus c. Similarly, ln of cosecant x minus cot x is equal to cosecant x. So it implies integral of cosecant x dx is equal to ln of cosecant x minus cot x and if we come to the inverse trigonometric functions d by dx of sin inverse of x by a is equal to 1 by square root of a square by a square minus x square so it implies integral of 1 by a square minus x square dx is equal to sin inverse of x by a plus c now if we take d by dx of cos inverse of x by a, you will get minus 1 by square root of a square minus x square. So it implies minus 1 by square root of a square minus x square dx is equal to cos inverse of x by a plus c. And similarly, d by dx of 1 by a into tan inverse of x by a is equal to 1 by a square plus x square. So it implies integral of 1 by a square plus x square dx is equal to 1 by a into tan inverse of x by a plus c. And similarly, integral of minus 1 by a square minus x square dx is equal to 1 by a into cot inverse of x by a plus c. And d by dx of 1 by a into secant inverse of x by a is equal to 1 by x into square root of a x square minus a square. So it implies integral of 1 by x into square root of x square minus a square dx is equal to 1 by a into secant inverse of x by a. And finally d by dx of 1 by a into cosecant inverse of x by a is equal to minus 1 by x into square root of x square minus a square. So it implies integral of minus 1 by x into square root of x square minus a square dx is equal to 1 by a into so second it must of x by a plus c. Okay guys, this is for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If not, comment down below why you have it. If you have any doubts, comment down below and answer them in the next video.